analyzing test data helps to close achievement gaps because a lot of times subgroup weaknesses are hidden in overall test averages. The answer or the example that I give in the book uh, deals with a U.S. history class where one of the standards that they are supposed to meet uh, is to analyze historical documents. And when you look at the non-disaggregated data, and this would be on a classroom test, it shows that 89% of the students actually meet this standard. But when you disaggregate the data by subgroup, you can see that 61% of the students that are black and non-Hispanic that are in that subgroup are, are meeting that standard. So here we have an achievement gap. The overall average is 89%. Most of us would think, oh, that's terrific. Let's move on. But here we have an achievement gap with 69% or 61% of the black non-Hispanic students meeting the standard. So this is an opportunity for a teacher to give a target lesson to this subgroup saying, you need some help here in understanding historical documents. Look at the kind of evidence that we find in historical documents, and let's work on this some more. And when a, a teacher sees this information, they're able to teach very strategically and close achievement gaps.